Space is vast, dark, and not your friend. Gamma rays and neutrino bursts erupt from dying stars to cook you alive. Black holes tear you apart, and the void itself boils your blood and seizes your brain. Try to scream and no one can hear you. Hold your breath and you rupture your lungs. Space isn't as empty as you'd think either. Its frontiers are ever expanding. Rival governments wage a cold war of aggression while greedy corporations vie for valuable resources. Colonists reach for the stars and gamble with their lives. Each new world tamed is either feast or famine. And there are things lurking in the shadows of every asteroid. Things strange and different and deadly. Things alien. This is the alien role-playing game, a universe of body horror and corporate brinksmanship where synthetic people play god while space truckers and marines serve as host to newborn ghoulish creatures. It's a harsh and unforgiving universe and you are nothing, if not expendable. Stay alive if you can. Welcome to Vorpal Tales, where we play terrifying tales and awesome adventures every day of the week, and most days, twice a day. If it's the dark and macabre that sets off your motion tracker, on Sundays we're playing Unknown Armies and Vampire the Masquerade. On Mondays, They Came From Beyond the Grave. On Tuesdays, Mage of the Awakening 2E. On Wednesday... Uh, not yet. Wednesday is not a terrifying tale yet, but soon. On Thursdays, starting on July 23rd, is it the 23rd? 22nd, if you're paying attention to the reel, you'll notice this show changes to Star Trek Adventures. These are the voyages of the Starship Dauntless. Be ready for that. On Fridays, we have the Contagion Chronicle, followed by Ravenloft for a little while longer. And then on Saturdays, on the Free League Twitch, we have Simber Room, followed by Werewolf the Apocalypse, back on our channel. If it's the adventurous and fantastic that you prefer. On Tuesdays, beginning this week, Pugmire squeaks in the deep. The aforementioned Star Trek on Thursdays. On Wednesdays, we're moving to Deadlands. Reloaded, which is going to happen after next week's finale of Season 1 of Fallout. So don't miss the finale. There's still votes to be tallied from last week's donations. 
And then on Friday, after two more sessions of Ravenloft, we will be switching back to Drac of Genesis Season 2 in the Scarred Lands, led by Patrick. Be sure to log into the corporate network and check out our website, VorpalTales.com, to see our complete calendar, get recaps of episodes, and get the links to our archives on YouTube. You can also find social media there, Patreon and Ko-Fi. Be sure to click follow on Twitch so you can be notified of shows and enter departmental memos. And if you check out the YouTube archive, subscribe and hit the bell to avoid being assigned to backwater terraforming colonies. Special thanks to Free League for being awesome and for all the support they offer. Astral Tabletop in the Foundry for being our virtual tabletop for this game. At Nate Mid for creating the sheets we use for this game. And all of those of you who are regulars and hear that name all the time, you get to see his face if you show up tomorrow at 5. And music-wise, Coag Audio, Somnium Music, and White Bat for some of the sounds you'll hear in this campaign. We'll be using the shiny new Colonial Operations Manual from Free League for this game, and you should get a copy of it, PDF or hardcover. It has many new character options. Tons of equipment, world building, a full campaign, and a series of adventures included in, like, every Free League game. It's beautiful on the inside and out. Purple Tales is always looking for ways to give back to the various groups that we represent. So let's let us tell you a little bit about the group we've chosen for July. Love Your Rebellion. Why did we pick them, you might ask. Love Your Rebellion is a nonprofit whose mission we believe in because they employ, discover, assist, and empower minority communities. People from uh, low-income communities. Those that identify as women, immigrants, people of color. People from queer and trans communities and people with disabilities. All are included and uplifted through Love Your Rebellion. This is done through music, art, poetry, and literature, promotion, and publications. Attending or taking part in events put on by Love Your Rebellion is an opportunity to connect with who you are. Celebrating pride in your identities, supporting intersectionality, learning and awareness across the communities in our beautiful diversity. Love Your Rebellion is obviously putting in the work to better the world in their communities, so Forple Tales is doing their small part to help them out. All of July, we're taking donations for them, and 100% of the donations collected go to Empower Diversity. Love Your Rebellion is a group that we are close to in real life. They are fantastic people who do amazing work. And so, we have a slew of rewards you can buy, as most of you know. And a pile of fun things our crew will do as we hit milestones. Check them all out in the links that are going to spam your chat momentarily. We are at $49 and counting down from our next milestone. Making Sean wear ugly pajamas on every stream, all of November and all of December. And $149 for Patty and I putting on a D&D 2E campaign. We're going to make a lot of players suffer. On July 23rd, we'll be running a special set of charity one-shots, back-to-back. First up, Blue Rose, run by Aunt Rachel. And then, Extreme Meat Punks Forever, run by Steve. Rewards and milestones are available during all live plays, including those charity events played on our channel all month long. And remember, as always, this show is sponsored by Wayland Yutani's Bioweapons Division. They promised a very generous contract and payout boost for this when you work for the company, your family. Wayland Yutani, building better worlds. Marines, get on the line, form up, and sound off like the ultimate badasses you are. And Duane, decide what you're doing about your soda punishments. Begin! Uh, hi, my name is uh, J3Billion, otherwise known as John, and I will be reprising my role as Mr. Benjamin Baker tonight. Hey everybody, I'm Ever, my pronouns are they, them. You can find me all over the internet at, 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 as Changeling Ever and on Etsy at Neat and Code Designs. Tonight I will be playing Adam because Chase will miss him. I mean, most of us will, but a little bit, a little tiny bit. And I am Dwayne at Made of Kimchi on the network. Uh, I will be playing. One of my two still alive characters, surprisingly. And uh, to start off, I have to use this stupid bottle opener. This one's for you, Big Dad. Please tell them why it's stupid, though. Because it has a flashlight on it. Everyone gets a big quench from dirt soda. Dirt soda, it's the dirtiest. 
I, I just couldn't let him drink alone, so Not cheers. even a reaction this time, just no. <laughs> so good. His face is turning red, oh no. I feel so bad. Do we know you okay? Oh god. Do you have a trash can? <laughs> do you have a do you have that a trash can? That one's a special kind you? of pain. Oh god. That one um, went down hard. I, I feel like I got it. That was I thought you <laughs> gagged. No, that was it was like trying to go down. We're good. <laughs> oh, Continue I... on everyone. I'm gonna mute myself for a second. <laughs> Fucking painful, Jesus. And yet I can tell you I heard my husband exclaiming in delight from the basement, even with my headphones on. So Big Dad is pleased. <laughs> Yes, and, yes, very good. <laughs> and I am Rosie, or regular size mom, and tonight I will be playing for you either the Assault Marine Ruth or the Cold Calculating Marine Scientist Dr. Laura Lamb, proud mother of an alien queen. We'll see which one I am first. Hello, I am Kisama. You can find me on Twitter at TrueKisama, and tonight I think I will be Captain Lockwood? Who knows? Hey folks, I'm JT. You can find me around the internet at Zensomancer, and tonight I will be playing either uh, CBRN Specialist Jason Murphy or Lieutenant Commander John Higgins. And Tony? You want Bug to come back, convince people to throw us ten bucks. That's how that happens. That was by, that was amazing, by the way. I was watching. It was the greatest thing ever. Oh my god, can you imagine Bug and Alien? God. I mean, it still wouldn't top Bug with Vin Diesel. So, you know. So. XP from last week. Because we did not do that before we completed. So. As usual, let's go through the list. Did you participate in the session? If so, you get an XP. I think you were all here. Pretty sure. Did you risk or sacrifice something to further your personal agenda? Not that one for I'll me. pause and wait for. I sacrificed my character. <laughs> I try to like sacrifice it. Zeke. <laughs> My agenda is risk taking, and I tried to bite a vampire. I feel like that's risk taking behavior. I'll accept that. Nice. Wait, was it point point of clarification? I thought you just... okay. Let's see. No, it was. So you got to roll on the minor chart of chaos. Hmm. Oh look, previous NPC joins the game. Oh look, I got bug. Wait, what? Wait, what? Someone paid specifically for you to play Bug for a scene. Prepare yourself. What? <laughs> Spank my Betty! <laughs> Did you risk your life for your buddy PC? It's a negative for me as well. Yes, I literally rode a dinosaur to go get him. Yes, you did. <laughs> That's valid. Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Did you challenge or stand up to your rival? Hearing a lot of nothing. Does, yeah, yes. um, does knocking my rival out count as standing up to him? 200%. So sweet! I did try to use my rival as a beat shield. A proof. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I feel like Approved. it counts. That's approved, Dwayne. Okay. <laughs> Alien the RPG, treating, <laughs> teaching you to treat your friends <laughs> like shit for experience. <laughs> Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Enough. Unfortunately, Tony, it's only for a scene, so it's unlikely the freckles will carry over. Unless someone else keeps paying for that to stay. <laughs> oh, dear God. The tier is bug forever once every scene. 
<laughs> Bug is everywhere. Uh, though, um, uh, one of my partners just walked in and goes, Bug can't die. Bug can't die. And I'm like, well, it, it, it's a bug hunt, so... That's worth... That's, that's, that's worth a pun point. Did you make a panic yes. roll? I'm pretty sure that's yes. All the way around, except Adam. But even then, Chase did. Yeah, but does that carry over to Adam, since Chase is dead, or...? No, but when you re-roll new characters, which may not happen till season two, track the XP anyways, because they weren't, won't start at level zero. Oh, God. Or if you need a quick NPC tonight, it will help. Uh... Oh, we have achieved the $600 tier. We need 99 more to get to D&D &D 2E, audience. God, how... How did that happen so fast? No one wants D&D. Because more people want major chaos rolls stacked up. Uh, please. And it, this it, donator says, also, pajama jammy jam. Uh. So, <laughs> so, did you overcome a dangerous event using violent or nonviolent means? Yes. Xenomato. Xenomato. The keymato. <laughs> the keto morph. Did you make significant discoveries or revelations? Yes. Xenomato. <laughs> Did you perform an extraordinary action of any kind? Yes. You escaped a planet in an alien spaceship. Oh. And did you earn any money? Yes, because there's going to oh. be a time jump again. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, plus one XP each for the chaos. An extra plus one to our fearless note taker. <laughs> and the agony. That, that was. To to do so. That was. That was for our fearless note taker, right? Like that's a party buff situation. Like. Speaking of which. Experience. Um, Let's hear those awesome notes ever. Oh jeez. Wait no no okay. wait no. They start out okay. No no no, no. <laughs> I've got this. Bug reads the recap. Oh. <laughs> okay. The location is an alien cave on Phantasmagoria. The crew is six. What? Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. But anyway, Adam heals up an unconscious Harrison. Why was he unconscious? Roof secures the area while Rockwood complains about injured soldiers sw swacking off on duty. <laughs> duty. They discover an alien engineer data console that has been modified. Middle chaos ensues as Christopher Wheat. Who's that? That sounds like an old guy name. And for Dracula, oh vampire, Rihalia emerges from a sliding door and washes the captain. He throws the captain across the room and just as quickly as he withdraws, exclaiming, I've got you all exactly where I want you. <laughs> With the crew in shock at this ridiculousness, a wolf man emerges from another door near roof. Petunia, that's a silly name. Petunia tells who the wolf man, which poofs away into mist. <laughs> he tried to shoot him, but you missed. <laughs> Another wolf man descends from the ceiling and weeps at Roof to no avail. Harrison shoots at the re-emerged Dracula, and he strikes true. I thought he was trying to strike Dracula. Oh well. Dracula... Dracula merely cackles and begins stalking towards Harrison. Adam heals up Higgins. Rockwood fires at Dracula with little effect. Dracula then drains the west. Bit of... Uh, Blood out of Rockwood and swooning woman something. Higgins opens fire on Dracula, scores some hits, but he does not go down. Booth fires at the remaining wolfman, then has a severe urge to run and hide. Me too. Harrison stabs Dracula with a wooden toothpick and it goes down only to rise again. Roof gets dragged around aimlessly by the wolfman. Higgins gets up and goes at Dracula with a knife, which gets caught up in the cape. A quit fail by Harrison causes his rifle to explode. Adam can't destroy the eye because of programming. What? I don't understand. 
Hades tackles Hollow Dracula and somehow bites his neck. That's how you get to be a vampire. Sending you 500 gigajoules flowing through Higgins' body. Harrison finally. Aw, oh, my ball broke. See? Oh well. Uh, Poor bug. Yeah. Harrison finally is able to destroy the Oculus. What's the, what, what is the Oculus? And Ruth develops alcoholism. My dad had that, and it didn't go well with my mom. Facility is now in lockdown mode. Adam contacts Dr. Wham to collaborate on how to access the alien engineer mainframe. Break! With access being granted, we get away out of the facility. 80s arcade style. Wait, why is it gonna specify the 80s? Oh, the 80s. And begin to explore. We are looking at a two level facility with 11 rooms. Captain Lockwood instead requests an extraction due to the ridiculous nature of what is happening. Tell me about it. This is ridiculous. Due to more extreme chaos, the comms officer on the, os os the octopus decides that he is no longer likes the captain and instead incites a mutiny. Mu mutiny. Mutation. Gunfire, shouting, and at last, but not least, a wonderful missile strike against the planet in our honor. We decided to contact the base to warn them of the aerial strike. More gunfire and chaos is ensuing at the base as the Xeno tomatoes begin to destroy the base. With the strike incoming, we proceed inside. The captain regains consciousness and orders Adam to activate the mainframe and release everything. Too much poisonous happens after this, so in short, we find an engineer ship hidden in a facility and the marine team takes to disguise in an alien horseshoe filled with black ooze filled with black ooze containers. As we do in the flyover, we see a huge contain a constipation of UPP soldiers riding Velociraptors attacking our forward operating base. As we mull over whether or not we leave the naval team to their fate and save our own skins, we switch over characters. The remainder of those arrive at the farm have managed to barricade themselves in a room, but the barricade gives way to Johnny and Kimetto, the tomato base gaping Marty. After a sort of small skirmish with Kimato, the naval team takes it out of the FOB and makes their way to the dropships. We film uses Zeke as a shield and they follow Dr. Wham, who has pulled some quark dundiness to mount one of the dinosaurs. JT and John are forced to swap characters, which is weird. The naval team makes it to the dropship and we take off to meet with the alien horseshoe. I didn't know aliens have horses. The alien ship goes into autopilot and plots of course back home, question mark. We hop into the cryo tubes. I will quiet the tube too. It's okay. Thank you, Buck. Welcome. When the actual right. game starts, you'll know your cue, Buck, to actually appear. I have a small question before we start. What's that? Uh, as far as experience goes, do we get to spend experience? If you want to. But you're not getting a pause for it, so I have to do it live! Oh no, they took their stuff off. I meant I meant, don't start saying anything until I tell you to give you the cue. Oh, oh, it's actually oh, okay. going to be the opening scene, because it will be hilarious. Oh, damn it. So... First, Dwayne, you know what you got to do, buddy. Oh, yeah. Major Chaos Roll, here it comes. Two. Two. All right. Zach, if you're listening, this was your roll, so pick your player target, but don't pick Bug. What? Whoever you're picking, you're punishing. What is, what is two? I don't have my notes up. What is two? You'll see. As soon as I get a pick. <clears throat> He's picking randomly with dice. That's very fair.
<coughs> this is going to be a fantastic opening scene. That's all I'm saying. Mmm. Rosie. Right. Two. Random player must communicate in non-vulgar noises only for the entire scene. You can only use actual words in the Discord if you really need to get something across, but you can only make noises for the opening scene. But before that starts, I need to figure out which character I'm actually playing. That's actually going to be randomly decided, too. Oh, great! <laughs> so. Can you put that description in the uh, chat so I can reference it? Yep. Thank you. Okay. So. Dwayne, roll a d6. I, oh. If it's a 6, re-roll it. Because ever is 6. 4. Alright. I feel like this will be a familiar situation, Captain Lockwood. You come to, and you feel terrible. Please roll a d6. That's a six. Okay. Modified. Well, let's see. Oh. I just like to let you know, Big Dad, that it tastes worse coming back up than it does going down. Oh no! Did you did you have pukes? No, I burped. Oh okay. But it tastes even worse. Uh. Sleep sickness seizures. Four. The duration of the scene. Uh, roll a stress die at the beginning of each shift. I'll tell you when the shift is modified. Six. Means you have a seizure that disables you for a full turn. You wake up abruptly out of hypersleep and you can tell that something's wrong because gravity isn't right and it feels like the whole ship is tilted and there's red lights and klaxons everywhere. Oh, no. You're in your pod. Can I get out of my pod? Yes. The pod opens, but because of the uh, abrupt awakening, you have sleep sickness. Mm. It's a thing we haven't done yet. I'm slowly but surely advancing you into all the terrible things this game brings. <laughs> All right, yeah. Captain Lockwood would get up, probably start vomiting his guts out, and start yelling, just, Adam! Adam! You get no response. God damn it. He starts stumbling towards the other pods, trying to get them open. So, you stumble over to another pod, and uh, the computer buzzes on and says, I'm sorry, Captain, Adam is unavailable. Mother is speaking to you. Hmm. All right, fine. Open up all the pods. Are you sure you want me to do that? That is unadvisable. Right, right. Oh. Open up uh, this pod. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to open enough pods for emergency recovery? Yes, yes. Affirmative. Adam is offline. 
due to structural damage from extra dimensional incursion effect. Mother layman's terms, please. It spits out data on the nearest computer screen in alien fashion with CRT green data. And you read it, and apparently some kind of energy burst from an extra-dimensional portal opened on the bridge, shorting out a lot of control circuits, damaging the ship, and damaging Adam. And this kid fell out and hit the deck, and is apparently wandering the halls, yelling, going, am I all alone here? This is your cue to enter, bug. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! I'm looking for my dinosaur! <clears throat> you hear this my echoing dinosaur. down the hallway, Captain. Whoa! Captain Lockwood just, just starts stumbling. <laughs> Stumbles down to where this kid is and just kind of looks at him, rubs his eyes. <laughs> Hi. You look tired. I am. What is your name? Who bug. are you? Bug? Okay, right. I'm Bug. Great. Captain Wait. Lockwood reaches out to grab onto Bug to make sure he's real. Danger, danger, don't touch me! I know Kawani. I mean, if it's a hallucination, it's one with smell. It smells like ozone and uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. The kid. Smelling burnt bread. Ah, oh, what happened in that pot? I don't know. Maybe you're having a stroke or something. Speaking of which, roll a d6. Don't get a six. Excellent. You did not get a six. That is a one. The next pod pops open. Dwayne, you only have one character, so you don't have to roll for which character. But you do have to roll a d6 for sleep sickness. Who, who is my one character? Which one's still alive? <laughs> Both of them. Wait, I thought we killed... Oh, no, it's not you we killed. So, yeah, you do have to roll percentile. Low is uh, company man, high is marine. Okay. All right, all right let's go. High. All That's right. 99. Your marine pops out. Roll a d6 for your sleep sickness. Four. Four. No effect yet, except a raging headache. Awesome. The pod opens and you wake up to Klaxon's red alerts and the captain talking to a kid. Hi. You know, like, kind of like knock the sense into himself. The kid does not go away. He's so like, I know that I forget a lot, but I don't remember there being a kid on board. No, it's okay. Too. I went into the loop and uh, there was uh, like a particle accelerator in the loop and uh, I got a uh, transporter here. The... My friends are normally here what though. What is this kid so... saying? The loop? Is that, something is that, about like, a, is that a bar? I don't think no, he's going it's, to a it's, bar. It's, it's a wab. A wab? I don't even want to know what a wab is. All right. Is it's a science those... web. A science web. What? Like a rat? I don't want to know. Wait, you went into a rat. No, well, I... but anyway, so guess what I did yesterday? I would. I drove a submarine, and I met um, this bald guy who called us family, and I met a walking, talking booger, and um. There was a robot with a unicorn floaty. That was what I did yesterday. The next now spot I'm opens. Here. JT, do you have one or two characters left? I have two characters left. All right, roll percentile, and then a d6 for sickness. Um, I rolled my uh, my pilot. All right. Six. It's a five. Five <clears throat> is paranoia. You come out. You're convinced that someone or something on board the ship is out to get you. You just don't oh know what. Boy. Or who. Oh boy. Oh, I know I do know what is up to get me. And you pop out and uh, see this same scene occurring. It's finally happened. The child from my dreams is here for me. 
Hello. Like do like karate, like reach for a for a pistol that isn't there. Like keep it away from me. Keep it away from me. It's fine. I don't want to go near you either. <laughs> you scary spaceman. I don't know where you've been. Who are you? I'm Bug. I don't like that. Uh, Why? Captain, what? It's a bug. What's going on? So we should kill it, right? No, no. Harrison, you itch. can sit down. Sit down. Stand down. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh gosh, he's been drinking too much. Hey, you watch your mouth. Rosie! Right. 80 bad words. Your turn, and you know what's got to happen after you roll a character. Four. <sighs> Alright. Oh no, I meant, uh, which you, wait, you only have one character, don't you? No, I have, I have two. Ruth and the Doctor are both alive. Alright. Ruth is high, Doc is low. Roll percentile. You don't have to worry. We're all for sleeping sickness because you already have chaos sleeping sickness. 72. All right. <clears throat> Ruth it is. And you can only speak in noises. Your bay, your bay pops open to the scene. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Hello. Um... Hey, you sounded like me before I got a speech therapy. Um, um, a bum, blah, blah, blah. You guys making fun of me? And then, and then she guys, she was talking like that. Mom, Doc mm, mom, mom, mom. Dr. Lamb, what's wrong with you? That's not Dr. This Dr. is Lamb. Ruth Harris. Oh, it's Ruth. I'm wrong. What's wrong with you then? Uh. Did you wick a frozen pole? I did that once, and then I sounded wiped out for a week. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Uh. Harrison will just look at her and go, uh. <laughs> You make weird noises, mister. Who are you, child? I told you, I'm Bug. All right, John. You're one surviving character. Roll a I'm D6. So <laughs> I thought oh. both Benjamin and Ezekiel were blah, 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 blah. Oh, so, I got that one. That is something about Florida. What is Florida? Commander. Florida is this long state. It Did looks kind of like a penis. <laughs> Commander, you, you've heard about Florida. That was flooded and washed away decades ago. Yeah. Back, back on Earth. What a shithole. All right, John, what'd you get on your D6? Oh, okay. Um, I, I guess I missed. What what character do I not you have? Only, you I... only have one. One of your characters got killed, remember? You have your roughneck still. I thought... Died? No, I don't, I don't think Benjamin died. <laughs> Benjamin got killed or mauled or something real bad happened to Benjamin. I thought the person that died was Ever's character. Ever's it was character, Ever's character. Ever's character disappeared. Rest in peace. Uh, uh, okay. Um, two. Two. Nothing yet. Except a raging Gosh. headache. Yeah, I'll check my notes in a second, but either died or got mauled or I don't remember. You were deposited in hypersleep in a not conscious state the same way. I'm pretty sure the same way the captain was deposited in hypersleep in a not conscious state. Oh, um, I mean, I went comatose from stress, Benjamin did. Maybe that was it. Either way, that one, you get the engineer. Because we, we need the engineer. You pop out to this chaos. Hi. So are the rest of you fucking seeing that? Wait, hold on. Why is what is, what is up with the finger? I didn't. I did absolutely nothing. Uh, Ruth has so now, so now I'm seeing things along with this child. To, now I'm seeing. Uh, so now I'm seeing things point to Bug, and I'm not hearing correctly. Not. What, yeah. what the fuck is Adam? 
Adam's down for maintenance right now. Look, this is Buck. Oh. He's here with us now. Or there, whoever this is. All right. So they need to kill the bug. No, we do not I kill the child. Already. Apparently not. Oh, I, 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 okay. I mean, that's a smart. Keep your head on a swivel like that. I like that, Harrison. Uh, Am I still dreaming? Should I shoot myself? Because when you die in your dreams, that, you wake up. It, I thought I'm when pretty, you die pretty, in your dreams, you die in real life. And I'm in pretty this scene, sure, no. Um, this, this scene does not have enough chaos for me. So, <laughs> Ruth, you are the only one who notices a blinking red emergency light among the sea of emergency lights, showing that something in the engine room is on fire. You need to communicate this to them. There's no pen or paper handy. Uh, uh, yes, uh, two words. Uh... Just trying to get your attention. Clap your hands. Point point there over there okay over there over there i look over there what? you look over there's some time light. to see a view screen fizzle out it lost power uh oh <laughs> i spoke and now <laughs> shit fucking hell no, that's another thing i have to fix did you God see it kid what did what did it say what did it what did it yes what did uh okay oh no i wasn't watching the tv did it, did, oh. did, uh, Rosie, can you tell me? Can you point exactly to which light that was on here, <laughs> or was it just a view screen? I'm, I'm, uh, in my head, I'm thinking like an orange light that has a warning light on it. One. That just Rosie. lights up. I have to come up on her shoulder. Watches, marches over to Lethem, grabs Lethem by the back of the scruff, and starts dragging him away, screaming the whole time. Oh, He's so mad! Blah, blah, man. She's so mad at him. What he do? Are they married? My mom and dad oh. do that all the time. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely, they're married. <laughs> you don't remember that, Lethem, But I mean, you forgot all your memories. I'm I'm Harrison. Harrison? You're confusing me. No, oh, Harrison. Confused. Uh, confused. Ro Ruth stops at the door. I am Harrison. Stop at the door. What? What, Ruth? What? Don't what? Now she's stomping okay, her think... feet. Wait, she's stomping uh, her feet at the rest of you. Okay, I'm gonna go take a look at the door. She's on my feet too. Nothing wrong with the door. Maybe she wants raised. you to follow. Okay, little well, well, lead on then. I don't uh, don't order. quite understand. Let's go. Maybe it's an adventure. I always go on adventures. Bug Keep ends up one. right behind Higgins. Keep that one fucking yeah. away from me. Uh, Still not sure if that's a if, if that is a illusion or a delusion. I'm not an illusion. Yeah, Higgins keeps like looking over his shoulder, Am like I? real, like. Just Sla slap wrong. yourself, find nope, out. That would. No, oh, okay. I'm not an he illusion. Are you an illusion? I don't know, maybe if you slap me, you'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Quack. Oh, ah, that makes you not an illusion. Here. Ow! So I'm not an illusion. Well, we're all kind of fucked now, aren't we? Mister, you're not my dad. I'm only 10 years old, and you're smacking me. I'm going to tell. Um, well, go on. Who are you going to tell here? <laughs> Bug scoot. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on, but you can tell us all about your space submarine later. Apparently Ruth has to go to the bathroom. Okay. I do too. Well, was she, was long trip. The, she was pointing at one of them alarm uh, she was pointing at a, uh, an alarm thing and I don't quite know what's going on. She drags you all to a working readout <laughs> where you're I'll able to see what's it. happening. Mr. Engineer. Ooh, there's so many buttons. Can I press them? <laughs> Would you like to? No one's stopping you. Ezekiel is definitely stopping Buck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, no, Buck. No. You can't. No, that's, it's okay. I got this. I, I, I tell I, you. I, I tell you what. I will let you press the buttons when I figure out what buttons to press. Okay, Roger that. Thank you, Buck. Roger. And I go ahead and take a look at a uh, readout. All right. Let's see how bad you can screw the party over, John. Absolutely. Bring it on. I'm going to need... 
first I'm gonna need a D10. And then I'm gonna need a D, D a D10 and a D4. Start there. Sure, seven and uh, one. So, seven minor malfunctions of the ship and one major. So now I'm gonna need you to roll D66 seven times. Okay, so six. That's 2d6. One's the tens place, one's the one place. Okay, so 2d6 seven times, you said. Yep, but you don't add them up. You read it as if it was a percentage. Okay, so three. Can't be a three. Um, well, the lowest you can get with uh, d66 is uh, 11. Oh, excuse me, 12. Okay. Um, a 66. Okay, hold on. Somebody's going to have to track this for the party. As he screams out the things that are going to kill you. The air scrubbers are offline. Okay, What's so the one, second one? One, two, three. Um, that is max, so 66. Second one's a 66. Uh, uh, the waste disposal facility is malfunctioned. So it's pretty fucking first, shitty job. First things first, sewage smells waft through the ship. Two, minus two to all stamina related rolls because the air is not being scrubbed. What's the next one? All right, we're taking a look at... We just did 66, uh, 45. 45. The intercoms are disabled. So if you hmm. have to split the party, which you probably will, that'll be fun. What next? 31. 31. We'll save that one. What else you got? 44. 44. The instruments are malfunctioning. All piloting, range, combat, and comtex rules are at minus one until you fix it. That's fun. Uh, six, 62. The thrusters are damaged. You can only go at uh, sublight speed. How many left? Is that seven? Uh, that will be seven, yes. All right. And then for the major. No, oh, one more. No, nope, that's only five. Five. Yeah, that's oh, six. Okay. I miscounted. That's my bad. 41. Uh, I think you already got that, didn't you? Oh, you did not. Scrubbers. The escape Wait. pods, you're not working. <laughs> okay. okay, and then one roll on the major chart, which is 2d6, and then add them together. So you get a two between a 2 and a 12. I think I'm missing uh, one. 10. Oh, okay. And the reactor is breached. One oh, rad yeah. per shift, and you have no propulsion. Wow. Everybody had a rad of damage. Bad. One damage from rads, including Bug. Bug, by the way, has 20 hit points. Oh, <laughs> you... Who farted? Why does that smell so bad? If you get to I zero, Bug, let me know. it was the guy who whacked me. Whoa. You stink. So a lot of those. Oh, that's are... pretty normal for a day shift. But it smells like poo. Did someone poo your pants? I bet it was the, that guy. I don't think you need to be worried about the poo. Was a delusion. I think you need to. I think you need to be worried about this right here. Radiation what? that'll melt the skin off your bones. So that means. Uh, what your character Ooh. is? You have John. Everyone who I've... hasn't set your name in is even please. What's your character's name, John? Ezekiel. Ezekiel, you know that you have to fix the air scrubbers and stop the uh, core from leaking, and you can't do them separately. You're going to have to split the party. All right, well, now we seem to be in a, bit, a little bit of a trouble here, seeing as how uh, which one of us, which other people are good at fixing shit. Heavy machinery, com tech, what do we got? I got, I got two cans connected by a swing. Right. Incredibly Very hard communication. Thank you. We're good. Uh, contact is. I have five total on contact. Okay. You're actually going to need a lot of heavy machinery. Contact will help, but you're going to need heavy machinery. Yeah, you got none of that. So if Tyler, anybody... since this is a, a D6 system, do you want me to pull up Bug's character sheet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Bug has eight dice for all rolls. Oh shit! And Bug, does, <laughs> and, and Bug does not gain stress. 
Wow, Bug is invincible. Jesus. Bug cause stress. <laughs> bug will <laughs> cause stress if things get violent, yes. Alright. Oh, God. Here's the plan. Alright. Higgins, Bug, go handle the waste disposal. Excuse me? No, absolutely not. I am no, not you are. with this team. Uh, with all due respect, Captain. The waste, the, the waste I am not letting a child and Higgins anywhere near the more important things that need to be fixed Ooh, right now. Oh, Captain, where's your boat? Okay, um, this is my boat. This is a boat. As far as I oh. know, like Higgins is the only one other than me that has both heavy machinery and comtech. No, I don't have heavy machinery about? at all. Okay, so and, comtech. Anyway. Does anybody? Oh, yeah. uh, the, the Rosie, do you have heavy machinery? Nod's head. Okay, yes. Um, so I thought her name was be, Roof. I think, uh, uh, not to tread on your shoes here, Captain. The <clears throat> mutiny. Um, <laughs> Captain, it's been a shift. Roll a d6. Wait, are we space pirates? No, we are not pirates. <laughs> I think uh, we're space pirates. I think uh, Ruth and Higgins might want to go and. That is six. You're good. <sighs> fix the scrubbers. And I'll go down and I'll hopefully fix the reactor before it melts me to a, and lights me on fire like a candle. How's that sound there, Captain Lockwood? Great idea, thanks. Hold on, wait. Fantastic. Hold on, you're not going that alone. I'm going with you. At the very least, you need another set of hands. Yes, I think it's useful. Yes. I'm not sending a child to the reactor. <laughs> Why oh, not? Is... I've got good reactions. I don't think this is really a child. <laughs> well, I'm ten years old. All right, do not let Lethem or the good doctor hear anything about this child not being a child. Yes, absolutely. Then you get to experiment on. Do you like to be pricked by needles? No, I don't like needles. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, no, we don't want that, do we? No. There is a gun under your chin, Lockwood. <laughs> What? Ruth what? is Come definitely on. trying to get your attention. Nah! But of the gun. Lockwood just kind of both hands in the air and just kind of reaches. <laughs> starts patting around for like a flask because he knows what's going on here. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. She really wanted to talk with milk. Yes. Chocolate milk. She pushes you up against the wall. What's going on? I'm so confused. <laughs> Just look to Ezekiel, my buddy. Like, please help. I don't know what's going on. She takes your flask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Though I do appreciate the pageantry, Rosie. I do have another one right here. You're pretty sure oh, she's okay. saying, don't fucking move. What is, I what's like going, her. She's Ruth, what's going on here? Why the increased hostility all of a sudden? I mean, I have another flask right here. It'd be no he problem for him. me to give it. He robbed him! Bam. He robbed you? <laughs> you son of a bitch! I turn around and punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, the mute. Is this about Taco Tuesday? <laughs> hey, <don't talk laughs> I'm sorry. It was a hazard. I'm sorry. I'm what sorry, Private. Get him. Get him. How are tacos a hazard? Oh, if you cooked them wrong, sometimes you'd be okay, on the all right, I've, uh, long. Okay, alright. Alright, Rosie, thank you very much. I will keep a good eye what on the hell's Rosie? Ruth. 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 Uh, Ruth, excuse me. Par sorry. Okay, okay. Sorry, but I'll keep a guy, uh, eye on the good captain, and I start pulling him. I need him to come with me for an extra spare set of hands, unless you want to melt to death. So uh, I'll take him with me. Um, I don't think, but I don't She's think. He's watching uh, you. Yes, I see that you're watching me. Thank you very much. Would you like a flask here, as a as a as a token of goodwill? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, all right, I'll keep an eye on him. I mean, at the very least, we don't have to listen to him anymore, so there we go. Uh, 
And I'll take Captain Lockwood. Uh, Bug, if you want to go with Higgins and Ruth, that's probably the best for you. Um, Not the best for me. Just, I'm real uncomfortable with the situation right now. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Uh, Bug, we're going to put you behind. Like, you're going to stand exactly where I tell you to. Do you understand? Well, am I going into timeout? I don't like timeout. It's no, so it's isolating. Just, it's just we are going into somewhere very dangerous. We can't have you running around the ship. That's okay. So I'll just... take the synth with me. The what? I mean, uh, there's no children. It's, this is obviously a synth. What's a synth? It, it I, took I the don't... place of Adam. It's a, it's a synthetic I person. I don't think so. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Not I'm a sorry. Synthetic I'm sorry. person. Artificial person. My bad. I'm not an okay. artificial person. I'm a real person. All right, Harrison. Um, do you have either heavy machinery or comtech? Something I deep in the ship in explodes, comtech and a five in wits, but no machinery. The whole ship okay. lists, and you start sliding across the deck. This Whoa. is fun. All right, I'm going to. I get seasick. Lockwood, from time let's to go. Time. Higgins, Ruth, go take care of the fucking scrubbers. Let's go get bathed in radiation, Lockwood. I'm good at fixing things. Uh, my friends always ask me to fix things. I'm Look, good at investigation. If you really, really want to fix something, yeah. Um, Captain Lockwood would try and get some sort of map or something. All right, go to the waste disposal, fix that. Waste disposal. Is that where the poo smell is coming from? You're going to yes. leave him alone on a, sh on a gigantic ship. Like I'm going to leave him alone in a place that's probably not going to cause any more damage. I won't damage anything. No, I want to make sure you don't get damaged, too, you know? Oh, well, that's real nice, but I can take care of myself. My parents let me wander all over Florida all the time. Oh, One time God. I fought a giant okay. space crab, uh, and then the space right, board whatever. showed up. I don't. And it... You want to come? Come. If you want to stay here with Harrison, stay there. Harrison, watch Bug. Leaving. Okay. Harrison, get him some chocolate milk. <laughs> fucking Christ, the goddamn ship is tilting! Let's fucking go! <laughs> okay. So, reactor people, you arrive. Please take one more health damage from rads. And you can see that the reactor is in fact blowing steam out. Things are on fire. There's breaches that shouldn't be happening. It's kind of terrifying. Gonna need space combat panic rolls and plus one stress for all the reactor people. So, roll 2d6, or roll 1d6 plus stress level is normal, but it's a different chart. Four. Keep it together. One. Wouldn't that actually be a two? Because I gave you a stress. Oh, yeah. Mm. Keeping it together either way. Uh, you have no injuries or no stress from the last session because you were in hypersleep for at least a month. Do our previous rads go away? Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, to repair emergency combat, combat, to do emergency damage repairs to the reactor will require something fun and special. The reactor core is breached, meaning all the systems that normally control it are breached, and you can see that the reason for part of the breach is there's a hole in the hole. Here's the weird thing. The hole opens inwards, like something hit you from the outside. Maybe a meteor, who knows. It didn't explode outwards. Either way, there's no gravity in there, and uh, it's a vacuum. Someone's going to have to spacewalk, or both of you. Suits are available. I'm getting in a... I, I don't even ask. I just get in a suit, and I just start going. Okay. Unless Ezekiel catches Lockwood... He's just going to watch with his world's best boss mug from a window. 
wow. giving moral get support. Get to get to your goddamn suit before I kick you into the reactor. They all wanted to kill you. You realize that, right? Uh, no, not all of them. Nothing really yeah, changed. Yeah, well, don't touch anything unless I tell you to. Just get your fucking suit and eat your hands. All right. And Lockwood puts down his empty world's best boss mug. Nothing in it. And he gets in a suit. Okay. He follows after. Both of you make mobility rolls plus agility. Minus one. Looks like one success for Lockwood. What about for Zeke? Uh, one success. I took a reroll. Okay. So plus one stress, Zeke. Yep. Man, and do I have to, do I have to roll instead of being at minus two, you're only at minus one to repair the ship while in space suits floating through the air. Heavy machinery, round one. Captain, you can try to give orders like you normally do. Yeah. Just kind of taking a step back and being like, the more, the more, the more. Yep, yeah, that's good. Um, he lets him. Every once in a while, he just looks back at, back at Captain Lockwood, and he goes, and, and he goes a little more, a little more, and he he clearly doesn't know what he's looking at, so he just moves it the exact opposite way and sets it down. <laughs> Got it, Lockwood. <laughs> Was that a? How many successes you get, Lockwood? That would be four successes. What about Zeke? This is strength, right? No, this is heavy machinery. Well, strength plus heavy machinery, right? Wit. Oh, wit. Heavy machinery heavy doesn't machinery. represent your ability to lift things. In this case, it's your ability to manipulate and repair things. Dwayne. I'm just watching you this whole session. It's amazing. Really hard to swallow. Three successes. Okay, that's seven. Plus out of another... twenty. Hold on, I got I got a bonus, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh boy, that's a big one. <laughs> I feel like that's more chaos incoming. Uh. Oh, Who are you, random that's person? That's a custom request. What? That's up to ever. An anonymous person has donated $50 for you to randomly appear, we'll call it five, in five more games this month of your choice as Bug. Oh, God. Everyone's going to hate me so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> It was you ever, wasn't it? You're the anonymous person. No, <laughs> no, five doesn't seem fun enough. Two per week, every week. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so this counts as one, and you're not in Saturday, so you either have to do Ravenloft or Vampire. You decide. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, we'll see. We'll see which one. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so. Whilst deciding that. Second group that is trying to fix the air uh, scrubbers. Also, we got a little something something from a specific mom sized person. We did, but it's not specifying what it's for, so I'm just waiting for the doom. <laughs> it was for a um, roll on the minor chaos table, because we've seen a lot in the major, but I'm curious about the minor. And I donated 20, so I think that's two. That's two. But I'm totally fine spacing that out between games. Oh, I don't know. We can cram them all in. We've got another major this game, too. I didn't miss that, donator. <laughs> So, uh, 
people who are trying to get to the air scrubbers plus one more damage and then also mobility plus agility rolls and then Comtech plus wits rolls has a group however many of you there are I guess, I guess me and Bug are just hanging out in the cryo bay I'll sit down be like so who's your maker well, you see, uh, my mom and my dad, well, yeah, you know, I'm really surprised say. that no one told you what mommies and daddies do when they love each other very much. Um, well, they, they kiss and then, um, they, they go in a room and, uh, and they, they hit all the walls to summon the stork. Um, and they makes a couple screams. Mm. Uh, and they, they hold hands, yes. And they, they yeah. hold hands. Yeah. For a very Scientists long time. Scientists do do strange ritual dances when they complete a work of art. So what's your model number? I'm 10 years old. Hmm. I am 10. Interesting. I've never heard of that one. Well, how old are you? I don't know. Wait, are you one of those artificial people? No, I'm a real person. I just got... What did happen to me? I don't remember what happened to me. But then well... I think I woke up and I couldn't remember what happened to me. I think... I think maybe that you might be the artificial person because if you don't remember what happened to you. Also, I have to interject here and say, I don't know, Bug. Does it really take a long time to summon the stork? Anyways, moving on. Um, Bug's gonna cause Harrison to have a like existential sort of crisis about his <laughs> own like mortality and like essence. What do we get on those rolls, Air Scrubbers? We got two successes on the mobility and agility. Okay. So no penalty to your one? Air Scrub repair roll. Comtech plus wits. Uh, zero to the agility and mobility. Excellent. Minus two to your Comtech roll. By the way, your big dad redeemed a hydrate. I'm sorry, Dwayne. <laughs> He's doing it. It's what's in his mouth. I got uh, one success on my roll, on my uh, contact roll. Okay, one out of ten. I would like to push. Do it. Plus one stress. And um, do I push with the dice I rolled or the dice I would have rolled? Uh, all the ones that did not succeed in your current pool. That is two successes. Three out of ten. Ooh. And to the sewer people. Really weird noises in the air ducts above you, kid. There, uh, Sergeant, Corporal, whatever your rank is. Okay. <laughs> Hey, listen, can I have a, can I have a, a position too? Can I be a, like, first mate or, like, um, something? You can be my sidekick. I've always wanted to be a sidekick. Now, I mean, well, you're, 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 you're in the cargo bay that's connected to waste refinement, right? So it's got massive ducks. A lot of noise when something's inside of those, like echoey and loud, and you can't ignore it. Like a like a m person moving, or like a bunch of shit flowing through. Yes. Did you hear that bug? Oh yeah. Yeah, I heard it. What is it? Is it the ship exploding? Are we gonna explode? 
Not if I have anything to do with it. Which I probably don't, so there is a possibility. It. And then, with a screeching, rending, tearing metal sound, a massive piece of the ducting collapses under the weight of the Queen Alien that were hitched a ride last session. Hits the ground in the deck and dents it. Looks right at you, Harrison. And hisses. Take plus one stress. Uh, what is that? I, I do remember what that is. Yeah? Doesn't seem very convincing to me. This is a... This is a live space submarine that doesn't like people. We need to go. Whoa. Okay, where will we go? I'll follow you. And I just grab Bug's hand and run in to and tow him along. <laughs> okay. Reactor crew, second round of repair rolls. Say minus one penalty. Air scrubbers, you can do the same thing. Minus two penalty for uh, Ruth, none for uh, Higgins. And while they roll, audience, only nine bucks away from the next goal. A Nothing for Ruth. It's correct, ever. Are we gonna? Are, is it gonna be the Taco Taco Tuesdays? I don't know what day we're gonna do it. Probably Friday, but maybe. Uh. Taco Tuesdays on a Friday. <laughs> so Bug pulls out a giant water bottle from their pocket and chucks it at the alien while they're running. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. The alien, Queen. A little inside. Can I see your face, Drew? Clark? I'll tell you that in a second. First, tell me the results of the repair rolls. Re reactor team. Three successes. Zeke. Uh, two more for me. What's your total at? I hope one of you was counting. Looking like a twelve. It's your job. Okay, 12 out of 20. Air scrubbers. I want to say, say 15. Um, 17 is a good number. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, no, it was definitely 12. <laughs> what's the reactor team? What's the air scrubber team look like? Is this a new roll? Yeah. Okay, then another two successes, so that's four total for Ruth. Okay. And then that would be five total for me, so we're at nine, so we need one more success. So why don't I just push it and reroll that down and see if it's going right now. Okay. There's two more successes. And I apologize, I read it is character must communicate in non vulgar noises. It says player. I will abide by that. No, no. That means character. That's me misprinting. Oh, okay. Thank it means you. It means your PC. Thank you. That That's easier. So apparently... The audience, and this is probably your husband's fault somehow, want you to deliver the sass without being able to use words and have paid for it. It's actually Hot Dog Wizard's fault. Uh, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll look for an opportunity. So, air scrubber repairs. You come out feeling triumphant just in time to see Harrison and Bug sprinting down the corridor towards you, followed by a queen alien who reaches out with the big long arms, not the two little ones, grabs Bug and passes them to the two little arms, which then cradles Bug like a child and hisses and continues charging at you. Yeah, I mean, as far as Higgins is concerned, this act was not an act of violence. This was an act of that Bug must be related to the alien in some way, and then also an enemy, which he was already convinced of. This is not a fun hog! It's drooling on me! And, uh, and Higgins is just gonna... I don't think we had opportunities to get weapons or anything at this point, so run towards wherever he would know is the closest weapon. About Ruth. Ruth. 
Um, I'm trying to think which of Ruth's weapons have anything to do with precision. Um, and honestly, the closest I can think of is the stun baton. <laughs> okay. So what she's going to do is sort of post up in the bit of hallway that she's in or the doorway and wait for the alien queen to approach her and try to sort of smack her with it. Because she doesn't want to risk hurting the kid, but the, the this alien having a hold of bug probably can't be good. Deception. Roll it! That's gonna be, uh... Uh, uh, yeah. Close combat plus strength. And as she does this, she goes... Which is four successes. So, you stun the queen alien who screeches at you, swats you down the entire length of the corridor, like 20 meters. You hit the ground and take a damage. It hurts a lot. Uh, rad crew. Repair roll. I get it. We get cap. What'd you get key? So that would be one success. Okay. Uh, Zeke, repair roll again. All right. Uh... But uh, disembodied voice in the aether gives you four eight minus one seven plus one so back to eight. Um, that's not d sixes. Captain got a crit fail actually. Per sweet friend, buddy. Send me a message and let you want. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> I want. What? What are we getting? I want some too. <laughs> um, cheap, cheap stuff, cheap food. Um, I'm gonna push this. Okay. I got two successes, so two, four, six. Uh, so four successes plus four successes plus a one on the stress die, which means I have to make a stress roll, uh, which will be five plus eight. <laughs> That's not what I'm laughing at. Sorry. So successes. How many successes was it again? Not for the panic roll, for the repair roll. 
So it would have been one, but I think thanks you're to muted, Betty, yeah. it's a crit fail for me. How many successes did you get, John? And I can't hear you if you're talking. Oh. Of course you can't hear me because I was muted. Um, four. Four, so that would have put you at 16. Excellent. Key, roll a d6. Captain That's Lockwood gets impatient and yanks on some wires, further damaging the unit, going, taking you back to 14. Jesus fucking Christ, Lockwood, I stick up for you, and this is the shit I gotta deal with. And you get a panic point. Stress point. Lockwood. It's a fucking hell, goddammit, Lockwood. Meanwhile, just out trying in the to hallway, keep my bearings. You don't put your hand on that specifically. You realize what the fucking wires you pulled out are for? Oh, enlighten me. They control the cooling rods for the core, you stupid fucker. <laughs> Higgins. Oh, no. I don't know what Bug's yelling the whole time, but to you it sounds like, yeah, yeah, get him. No matter what it actually is. As the Did queen I find a weapon yet? As the queen charges towards your group, catches up to you, and steps on you, because that's a thing the queens do in this game. Okay. <laughs> How many votes do you have right now? You're going to want them like player votes, not audience. Player votes? I have three player votes. How many audience votes? Uh, oh, one audience vote. One audience, three player. Excellent. You're going to want them all. Key, okay. as our master of doom, I need you to break out the critical injury chart. JT, I need you to roll three times. What am I rolling? Uh, what is it on that chart key? D to 2d6, 1d6 uh, plus? 60, uh, Percentile. Yeah, d66. So 2d6s, one's tens place, one's ones place. 61? Oh god! <laughs> okay, so take your reroll from the audience for that, because that's an instant death level. Not, uh, uh, the no, 61's not? not that bad. What is it? Uh, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Ruptured... <laughs> it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. A ruptured jugular. You have one <laughs> round to survive. That's pretty bad. You you could use your one audience vote to reroll that. I did, and I got a 13. Okay, what's that? Crippling pain. A stress level goes up by one. That's it. Next. Okay. Now, the player votes will help if you have to make death saves. 33. Broken ribs, mobility, and close combat are minus two. One more. Great. Oh. Oh. Getting all the boosts, too, in chat. Am I? You're getting boosts, which means extra dice, but <laughs> that'll help on the death I save, extra... I suppose. What? Yeah, I don't want extra dice on this roll. Give me a higher. What do we get on the third roll? Uh, 12. Maybe 12. Stunned. All right. You're stunned. Your Makes ribs sense. are crushed. I got stepped on. Yes. <laughs> uh, Harrison, you managed to smack open a hallway weapons locker. It's got two pulse rifles in it. I grab one and throw the other one to Ruth. I take one of those, <laughs> please. You're in the loving grasp of the queen. Right now, it's got you in one hand and it's petting you with the other, like you're a oh, dog. What is it doing? With its really long, creepy spider fingers. You gonna take ah! a shot, Harrison? What was that? You gonna shoot this big bitch? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try without. Oh, that's another big donation. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. All right. So, thank you, uh, donator. You took us past the next milestone. This is an anonymous donator who has purchased two more Duane sodas. Now, you don't have to do them all tonight, but you're doing them all weekend, clearly. That means I have... No, I'm face. doing them tonight. I... That's three more sodas I got it down tonight. Wait. You're doing that to yourself, Wait. buddy, at this point. Hold, hold on, hold on. How much were we charging for that? 10 or 20? 10. 10. That's four more. 
Wayne, don't okay, do okay, it. Okay, I'm not doing five this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Who did we lose? I think we lost Key. Key. Okay. Uh, uh. So do as many as you can. Or you think you can't? You can manage, and we'll do more tomorrow. You got two games you can power through tomorrow. I I have one that I owe Big Dad, which is getting done after break. He's already chosen his. And three more have been purchased, I think. Right? Yeah. I will do another one after that one. Fair I'm, I'm already out now. So. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah, if you do the one you owe Big Dad, that's four more after that. <laughs> Anonymous donator, make sure you watch tomorrow. He's in two games. He'll get yeah. through them all. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's shoot this. Uh, this no, no. Well, okay. Hold on. So I'm gonna roll a d100 because I know what happens when we shoot these things. And I'm unsure whether this child is real or not. If it's just a synthetic, then I would shoot at the queen. But if it's an actual child, I don't really know. High, I will shoot. Low, I will not. While he rolls not. to your audience, that's 70 more bucks until Rachel will craft a custom cosplay piece and give it away to our Discord peoples. Oh, God. Big Dad, why would you ask that? Is he... So, uh... <laughs> Told you, he's a sadist! <laughs> <laughs> you just feel, Higgin, er, Higgins, wow. Harrison, you just know, bottom of your soul, that the kid will be fine. Oh, okay. Fire away! <laughs> Pulse rifle go. Uh, range combat agility? Yes. That's three successes. Armor piercing rounds punch into the queen. Acid splatters everywhere. Hits everyone except Bug, who is completely untouched. And I'll divide it evenly because there's three of you. Uh, who's got the most hit points of the three of you? I have three. Three? I have another four. Okay. I only have two. Okay doesn't actually matter then. All three of you go down. Oh. <laughs> hey. Even dividing it evenly. And then there's this really weird high-pitched noise followed by crackling ozone smells and electricity in the air. And the queen and bug disappear into a weird portal. For the second, it looks like for a second, it looks like the inside of a research facility in Florida. And then it's just the hallway again. Bye! <laughs> bug. <laughs> You have a new dinosaur pet. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yes! Oh yes! Fear for your enemies. <laughs> oh. Yes, hot dog wizard. Bug is immortal. The bug, bug is well, bug. I don't. I don't even have a description for what bug is. So, but apparently I'm bringing this cosplay with me. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. I was about to say you're alone, John, but you're not. He's returned. Maybe. Yep, there he is. Zeke and Captain Lockwood. You rush out into the hall just in time to see the alien queen disappear into a portal with the mystery kid. And all three of your compatriots... Screaming and rolling around on the floor, being dissolved by a massive pool of acid, which is melting through the decks. I'm sure that's fine. That's where we go to break. Don't go anywhere, audience. We'll be back in ten minutes. They might not be, though.
we've returned. Dwayne, if you would show the audience, please. Ah, uh, yes, the Martian mucus. Taste the abduction. Uh, it says it tastes like plum. This is one of the few that actually says it on there. It doesn't smell like plum. It smells like garbage. Doesn't smell like plum. Smells like garbage. All right. Mm. Now you know that you know that really syrupy cough syrup you used to get as a kid. Yeah, it's like that. Ew. So, Big Dad, funny story since you mentioned that. <laughs> Someone else you know very well brought that up already. <laughs> uh. And I believe Dwayne said uh, $5,000. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what would it take, Dwayne? Uh, what, what's our next milestone? Uh, uh, Rachel makes a cosplay play piece and gives it away. Oh, you mean how much? Yeah, how much? 69. <laughs> 69 nice. six, $690? $69. Oh, no, no, like, what's the next monetary value yeah. of the tier? $69. It's every hundred. Oh, every hundred? Yeah. Okay. At a, if we... At 800, we've got Rachel gives away a cosplay piece. At 900, we have uh, Dixie does a makeup tutorial for live streaming as a live stream. And at 1,000, Keanu Timber. If we hit the 1,000 for Keanu Timber, I will remove the rest of the labels for whatever I have in my fridge. <laughs> you heard it, audience. Oh when we God. hit 1,000... For the rest of the oh. month, label free doom sodas. Oh, Dwayne, you know what would be even worse is if they were all the same color. Why do I open my mouth? A lot of them are the same color. Oh, God. Dwayne. Like, if, if I wasn't to know it, I would think that this here peanut butter and jelly one would have been the enchilada one. Oh, are shit. You, are you trying to speedrun death? No. <laughs> Dwayne, right. you're... <laughs> there are less painful ways to die. Okay. Zach is correct. The faster we get to a thousand, the more unlabeled sodas there will be. This is oh my true. God. This is true. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's amazing. Thank you for the follow, BB Freak. Welcome to the chaos. Yes. Welcome to charity event chaos, BB Freak 07. So. You're back in the ship. The alien's gone. The worst of the damage is repaired. You still have those other five minor issues, plus the one I didn't tell you about. But now we have hey, two um, minor roll of chaos chart rolls. Key, roll real first. Quick, D14. Real quick, um, are you ready to do this tomorrow, Dwayne? Uh -oh. I'm doing this because every someone, day I'm in uh -oh. someone, game. someone who may not be, who I'm going to lit, I'm going to just say rhymes with dad. Donated $169. Says, you are now $100 away. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, and the donation says, Dwayne, you fool. <laughs> I will be tuning in every day of the week from now on. <laughs> 100 more dollars, audience, and Dwayne takes all the labels off. We're almost there. We can do it. Right, that was a six. That was a six? Excellent. And then John, roll for me with a minor chart of chaos and tell me what you get. This was a fun. Uh, twelve. Excellent. A six and a twelve. On the minor chart of chaos to show it off. Uh... So, Dwayne, we've made it to a thousand, buddy. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> Do it now. Take off the label now. <laughs> Take well, it off. It's not going to help now. 
It, it's the it's the gesture. It, it is, it is just yes, it is gesture. I will remove. <laughs> you know what? And this is what I will do. I will tomorrow, since I have nothing to do before the next game, I will live stream the whole twenty minutes that it takes me to remove every single label. That way, you know that I'm not cheating. You heard it here, folks. Also, to all your donators on a serious note, you were seriously awesome. I'm sure I'll keep the label Ever so can gush more guess. about that than me when Ever can stop laughing. Don't die, please. <laughs> also, oh my God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a double whammy because since we hit a thousand, not only does Dwayne have to take all the labels off, all of September. Dwayne will cosplay as different Keanu Reeves movie characters on every stream. Keanu Timber has been achieved. Wait, so he'll be Keanu Reeves making really ridiculous faces while he drinks bad sodas? Uh, yeah, yeah because he'll, he does occasional bad soda even when it's not a charity. He likes the pain. And he won't just be Keanu Reeves, he'll be Neo. And he'll be uh, John Wick. <laughs> God. Okay. I'm even gonna do the uh, the the one guy, the evil can evil guy from Toy Story. So just uh, just just to let the audience know, the next few milestones, unless we come up with more, because we well, I have do more add... since we got this far. But carry on. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Uh. At one thousand one hundred, Amber will shave. It was it Amber. We'll shave the back of her head. Yep. Um, Kaboom. She has to maintain a certain amount of work professional, but uh, at 1,200, Eric and I and any other artist for Wolver Crew that want to uh, add themselves to this will make you a rebellious art piece. Um, at 1,300, volunteers eat things they hate live, which will include. Alain, who lives in Japan and has access to some of the grossest snacks you can possibly find. He's sending me a box, so I may join in on Ooh, that. Of um, gross snacks? Yeah. Yes. And then uh, I know the next jump is 1500 unless, Key, you want that to be a tear, that, that thing you said? Or is that you want to punish Duane? I'm not sure what's happening there. What? <laughs> it's a surprise for now. <laughs> Uh, the... At 1400, something horrible is going to happen because of Key. Oh, mm. please. There's only uh, one way to it, find out what. And then at 1500, whoever within our crew can respectfully pull it off will do drag. Yes, these, this yeah, will right. not be uh, a joke drag. This will be serious yeah, drag. This, like... won't be, this won't be dudes in wigs. This will be people who know what they're doing doing it. <laughs> For yes. your entertainment. Yes. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of RuPaul and Dragula, so. RuPaul and then... is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. I love RuPaul. Dragula uh, is amazing while drunk. Yes. Just... I've, never, oh, I, I've never seen that one. That and joke. then at 2000. Discretion, discretion. Oh, your discretion advice on that one. <laughs> uh, at 2000, a couple of us on the Vorpal crew will be getting permanent ink on our bodies. Uh, mine will ink. probably... Yes, rebellious ink. So it will... Um, brain fart. It will involve the uh, charity that we're supporting. So something from minority communities or music, poetry, the kind of things that Love Your Rebellion are all about. And uh, I think mine will be a pride tattoo. Nice. And uh, Jared oh. wants to get an ally flag, and I don't know about Steve yet. We'll see. We shall see. But uh, we also have a bunch of raiders who missed my long speech on what our yes, miles did. are. You can <laughs> you can do the so, bangs. I mean, welcome raiders to a chaotic charity stream of stream of nonsense. For um, lords and ladies of fate, welcome. So like we did two welcome. minor chart of chaos rolls for that donation, which ended up being six, which is a geographical shift. <laughs> and then 12, which, which is someone else rolls for you. The duration of the session, the unlucky target doesn't get to control their own fate, someone else does. 
So instead of swapping PCs, you're rolling for each other. Who wants to volunteer to be a roll tribute? It goes Dwayne's hand very slowly. And Rosie, Dwayne and Rosie, you roll for each other for the rest of the session. Okay. And geographical shift key, I'm going to need you to roll on the sub chart, please. Which oh, is what am I a D something. Stand by. The. I think it's another D twenty, isn't it? Geographical shift is a D ten. Thank you for That's the follows, Raiders. Five. A five? Excellent. And then the lights flicker and go out. And I know last week I was able to make it work in the story. Not for this chart. This one's just random chaos. So, when the lights flicker back on, there's a crackling fire in the fireplace. And you have a fireplace. You're in a log cabin. There's a window. Outside of the window, you can see a howling, blowing blizzard, so leaving would be unwise. And it's kind of a cozy uh, cabin in the woods if, you know, mold and mildew and hasn't been dusted in like 50 years as you're kind of cozy. And there don't seem to be any lights except the fireplace and a unnecessary amount of taxidermy. Wall to wall, floor to ceiling, and they're all staring at you. It's like it's Noah's Ark of taxidermy. Is uh, is Gaston in here too? Does it have a buck post outside? Is this like animals or like alien pets or? Is it what? So like animals or aliens? Because I'm thinking aliens, a bunch of taxidermy xenomorphs. There's animals. But maybe not. There's aliens. There's some people. How many oh, guns? Well, how, many, people. how many guns are within the first five feet of this place? There are no guns. Dude, that's surprising. Oof. None of you have guns either. Wait. So is Ruth Adam... is now down Vera, Petunia, uh, Carol, or no, Karen, and whatever we named the other one. All of her babies are gone. Oh. Yeah, you, you can talk me? now, though. Great. So all the more important thing, I will continue to talk and like jabber if you give Ruth her guns back. I don't have your gun. <laughs> is Adam there now? By the way? Yes, Adam is here and just now coming back online very confused. You remember a small child and then everything went black. What uh, occurred while I was offline? You're looking at it. Yes, but there was a small child, um, and it seemed. It, it, I have no words to describe this thing. I'm still dying. <laughs> Not until the scene ends, then you'll return to dying. <laughs> okay. Which is going to be amazing because Rosie and Dwayne have to roll for each other, including death saves. Oh. <laughs> so, Adam, um, yeah, there was there was a child, and one of the taxidermy yeah. elks bleed at you. <laughs> what? The Fucking fuck? shoot it! Shoot, shoot I think we Guns! should focus on where we're at now. We'll get back to the child later. The fucking thing, it's got a head on the wall. Do you think we should go outside and check for an ass? Like, it's probably what the fuck? a robotic device, I would think. A robotic device. <laughs> Lockwood, Lockwood. Captain Lockwood Captain, proceeds you know to try and use pull rank on Higgins and just yells, Get it! Get it, Higgins! <laughs> How does pull rank work? Yeah, uh, I believe I roll command plus empathy. 
Do it. Against something. Yeah. Um, and he probably resists with like I don't know what that would be. <laughs> uh, do do do. Or maybe you need with success as equal to one of his traits. Something. I'm not sure. It is manipulation and something against the target's manipulation and empathy. There you go. Pose roll, higher success count wins. No success. One. One beats success. zero. Get it. You compulsively obey the order, Higgins, and rip it off the wall. And then you're holding it where you're like, what the fuck did I do that for? You know, like, like, I did it! And, like, throw it. Does it stop bleeding, or is it still <laughs> bleeding? It stops bleeding, but it's staring at you. Like, you turn it, and it's still looking at you. Captain! You got... <laughs> you got a drink? You got one of those flasks on you? A taxidermy <laughs> skunk... Sprays Harrison. <laughs> Imagine the fucking ha like. What does it have that? Who puts an ass on a wall? What the fuck? Oh, it's all in my art. Now, did you do this because I actually have been sprayed? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I figured. That's okay, spank my Betty. He's still gonna need that to not die from acid to the face in a minute. What is going on here? There is. Are there any like? A, is there a, a roaring fire? Yes, there's a roaring fire in the fireplace. That's the only reason you can hear. You can see. I will grab the uh, one of the pokers as a weapon. Okay, there is a fireplace poker. What are you going to attack? I, I nothing yet, but I'm. My soldier Sorry, instincts about have, the situation. Yeah, have kicked <laughs> in. I'm, I'm assessing the situation. At the moment. Um, I, see, I see Harrison do that, and I'm just going to go grab the little shovel. Well, can Ruth start ripping these taxidermy heads off the wall to toss them in the fire? Sure. What roll do you need Dwayne to make for Ruth? I don't. The first one okay. you throw in the fire explodes like a frag grenade. Great. Now you all need to make ability pl mobility plus agility rolls to dodge. Great. And you're rolling for each other, doing it, Rosie. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, how much stress do you have, Rosie? Let me check. Just one. Is one success good enough to dodge the fire grenade? Yes. One success for Harrison. Okay. Mm. Would you like to push that, Dwayne? Yes, Rosie's gonna push. Er, yeah, Ruth's gonna push, sorry. <laughs> that is another two successes, so three total for Harrison. And I will raise you another stress level because we pushed. Yep. Okay. And when the explosion dies down, you're back in the hallway. You're all on your asses. Scorch marks are all over the wall. Taxidermied animals and aliens are scattered everywhere. And Harrison still smells like skunk. However, Harrison Higgins and Ruth are rolling around screaming on the floor again. Death saving throw time. Ugh. Higgins, you crit succeed. You get a hit point back. I think you can spake my buddy. Harrison and Ruth, though, roll for each other. It's just straight stamina. Ugh. A lucky day that uh, Ruth has two. Yeah, I'm looking. 
<laughs> Lucky <You> me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, uh, uh, let me look at my, I have one boat. <laughs> for, yeah, so I have you, one reroll on that one. You got one success? Hey! You also got one success. Yay! Is that enough? I, I don't know, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I haven't had to look at this in a couple sessions. Hold on. And now we're waiting on Adobe. Better or worse than dirt? <laughs> it's, it's better than dirt. I can actually swallow it faster but it's got that it that same medicine-y like aftertaste medicine-y aftertaste mm, glorious oh I, I would definitely yeah big dad i would definitely take the martian mucus over the dirt okay here we go Death roll. I always forget the PDF pages are not the same as the actual hardcover. Here we go. You only need the one. Yay. However, it doesn't stabilize you. It just means you survived the turn. Adam, who would you like to try to save first? The other one has to make another death roll. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the one making the death roll, I guess, since if, they're dying? If I was to... If I was to ever be selfish, I would say save Harrison because he only has one stamina. While Ruth has two. Oh, okay. Okay, I can do, I can do that. I can do that. Uh. <laughs> Make your medical roll. Plus empathy. Oh, that's Chase's sheet. Me. All right. Why is it not? <laughs> Okay, there we go. If I recall correctly, I get eight dice for this anyway. So I'll grab these up while it loads. Well, oh, that's right. Spank I have my eight, Betty. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not really. I don't know if that's are. a good thing or a bad thing. No, you're not spanked, my Betty, because you may have donated to push Duane over the pull the labels off. But that was just a bonus tier. You still get your. 20 crit success and failures for they the don't. donation. They don't. They don't. Because I don't know if you're going to use that for a crit fail or a success. 20 and counting, Betty, unless you want chart rolls. <laughs> Two successes unless Spank by Betty has decided to spank me. It appears. No. Not yet. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> All right, Dwayne. Make a death save for Rosie. Why did, that so, why, why, right. why did that death. sound like a like a taunt? Death it wasn't Betty is saving them for the next game, so you're fine, Dwayne, until they crit <laughs> fail all your NPCs all session long. I wow. That is awesome. Like, I rolled the exact same numbers and you got one success. Alright, Adam. Give Ruth a medical roll. One, two, two successes. Okay, so both uh, Harrison and, and Ruth come back with one hit point each. You are all now conscious and active. Also, you're able to discern why the mutiny happened on your original ship. Is the reactor still melting down? You know, you did that. Okay. Was... So you, uh, 
finish waking up the rest of the crew, at least what's necessary to repair all the minor damage, it isn't going to get you instantly exploded. And uh, they inform you what happened with the mutiny, and you do find out it was actually less than half the crew the mutinied. It was just so unexpected it caused all the chaos and damage. You have more loyal people than disloyal. It's really weird, because you didn't do any of these things. You don't know why... Or who, like, every time you ask who started the rumors, they're like, I don't know, I heard it from such and such. He says, I don't know, I heard it. You don't know who started this. But apparently someone's been sowing dissent against you for quite some time, Captain. They said you're laundering credits from the crew's payment. Uh, they what? have reports, actual printouts from Mother, that uh, everything happening with the UPP is because you're a UPP sympathizer feeding them intel. Like, to you, as a command officer, it's obvious these are fake. But to, like, rank-and-file marines, it would convince them. And also, uh, you're trying to program your own command codes into Adam. It's not because you stole Ezekiel's flask. Because I, uh, canceled Taco Tuesday. No mention of Taco Tuesday. There's no mention. Totally not. Alright, that was a good call then. Alright. Okay. <laughs> no more tortilla incidents. What, no more tortilla incidents? What the fuck? You canceled Taco Tuesday? You weren't there. You didn't I know see I the wasn't. carnage. Carnage? What the f what was it, people sneezing all over the goddamn meat and then it, then just leaving? The carne carnage. Uh, was it the carnage asada? Hmm. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, now I want their goddamn taco and it's Tuesday. Fuck you! <laughs> and all I can think about is a couple of mages... In a far off time period, trying to figure out what tacos are. Oh, oh hold Aww. on. Dwayne opened a new one. Is this PB and J? Yeah, this is the, I, I figured this one I'd go a little bit less on the. <clears throat> we gotta watch the first here. swallow. <laughs> That's what. Never mind. This one smells pleasant. <laughs> it's got a kick. Uh, uh, that's a question. Like, what the fuck am I drinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. It's that's not exactly bad, what it is. but it's not good either. It's like, oh my god, this tastes nothing like PB and J. So <laughs> it tastes like peanut butter and jelly. Imagine having the the sandwich in front of you and then just pouring some water on it <laughs> and then eating it. It's like watered <laughs> down peanut butter and jelly. Sounds so horrible. A friend but I get really soggy. wanted to help you out because you broke your jaw and you can only eat through a straw. So they decide that they would blend you up PB yeah, and J. Exactly. Well, it gets stuck in the blender, so they no, no, no. This is important. Water. Is it like blended oh, oh, no, PB and J oh. or soggy PB and J? Oh, I don't know, but that second was not good. <laughs> <laughs> Better than dirt? Uh, ask the, Spank, my Betty. It's better than dirt. I, <laughs> what they didn't tell you is it's peanut butter and ap apricot jalapeno jelly. I don't know what kind of jelly it is. <laughs> Strawberry? It's pink. It, it, where'd the label go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you got about two more weeks of this bullshit. I'm sorry. It looks sorry. like grape jelly on the label. <laughs> Three more weeks. <laughs> For fucking charity. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's... Hell yeah. I don't, ugh, I'm bringing all these with me. Uh, something's move? wrong with that. Something's wrong. <laughs> is it expired? It's okay, but it's wrong. It's Make like sure my it's mouth expired. is like, my mouth is rejecting it. <laughs> <laughs> What are your orders now? All right, what's still damaged on the ship? Well, you, you you woke up enough people to do the repairs necessary to the other minor things. 
I was going to have you roll all those, but Bug took up all the time, and it was much more entertaining than rolling to repair things. So I'm what, sorry. What, is, what does Ezekiel look like with, like, three units of rad damage? Uh, not good. Like, is he pu he's got pustering skin, probably. He's practically glowing. Actually, sunburn. It, actually, it would look like a uh, really bad sunburn mixed with jaundice and all the symptoms of your worst flu ever. I'm going to walk up to Lockwood. Well, I appreciate you. I don't appreciate you talking. Cancel Taco Tuesday. Fuck you. Got puke on his shoes. <laughs> Maybe he's born with I'm gonna it. go to the I'm, Maybe it's a radiation. I have de I have dealt with a heavy dose of radiation. So I'm gonna say fuck to your shoes. And I think I just did. Uh I'm going to Med Bay. We're still on for poker later. Yes, you're bringing the whiskey. Don't you dare fucking take my flask again. <laughs> <laughs> This time it's all over the pants. <laughs> you know, it's that, it's that white chunk. It's that, he didn't have anything to eat, right? So it's the white chunky bile puke that just comes up and. Thank you, anonymous donor. We love you too. <laughs> yes. I'm just filling time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. right. Somebody so donated ship. and just sent a heart. So Aww. that means we hit. Oh. Someone let Amber know. Get out the clippers. Oh. oh I'll leave that to you, Ever. <laughs> How close are we to our destination? We were headed somewhere. Close enough that you could scan the world, because you've been in cryosleep when you look at it for uh, five months. Hence the sickness when you were woken up incorrectly. Yeah. Adam and the doctor on scanning things. All right, uh, Comtech plus uh, wits. Um, as the player with the doctor, am I rolling for the doctor, or is Dwayne rolling for the doctor? Dwayne is, because that's the rest of the session. Okay. Uh -oh. Let <laughs> me get her sheet. <laughs> for just you. Tell, just, just tell me the numbers. Okay, I need to open it. Dr. Laura Lamb. Oh, and uh, as for Sass, Ruth looks at the captain's shoes and goes, well, now you finally have something to clean it, clean it with that's as pretty as your face. Oh. Need some aloe <laughs> for that. Uh, I would like to God have damn. a little elaboration. Are we still experiencing the mutiny? Are we mutineers? There's no mutiny on this ship. Well, only if you want to be. Ah. Oh. If anyone, and I mean anyone, and they looks at Ruth, looks at Ezekiel, looks back at Ruth. If anyone tries to mutiny again, I am sending them out the airlock. I am not having it. Hey, I thought we were on for fucking poker. Yeah, uh, just don't mutiny. <laughs> You better believe I'm gonna mutinize your ass in fucking poker. I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. <laughs> he starts walking down the hallway. <laughs> Another stream of puke just paints the wall. <laughs> Someone drags you off to the med bay. You have officially switched characters. Oh. They have fixed the catatonia on your marine. That's what he says. All right, Adam, what'd you get? Oh, uh, sorry, what was I rolling? Comtech plus wit, same thing for Duane rolling for Rosie. Where is Rashid is opening. Okay. Okay. So, uh, three plus eight for the good doctor. Two successes. In the doctor's... What? Oh, so wait. eight, nine, ten, eleven dice for the doctor. Yeah, the doctor has eleven dice because she's just a really smart person and cool, and there's nothing she's weird about it totally at all. Totally human. Yeah. Totally human. Hundred percent. Roll the dice. Okay. Uh, any stress? Uh, she's been in cryo, so no. Oh, okay, nope. yeah, no sir. Two successes. Okay. And what about Adam? Two. 
Successes. That is. Okay. Four is enough to get all the info. You need three. You are in what Mother tells you is the Achilles system, a binary system not included on any commercial star maps. It's uh, dual binary stars. It's almost like it's removed from the mapping. Interesting. Um, I wonder why it was hidden. The planet is labored, labeled Psi Valorum Achilles 2 4. Or. Well. Or, probably an easier mouthful, G435. 420. The scan tells you. Obviously, it's unclaimed because it's not in any charts. It has a breathable atmosphere. It's hot and humid. Because of its strange orbit between two binary stars. Oh, there's Duane's face. Ah. It's perpetually twilight here. <laughs> Dwayne has read the extended universe. It's perpetually twilight here. Roughly 40 Celsius. Most of the terrain is a wasteland with shallow swamps, salty seas, minimal vegetation, and a crap load of uh, sand and clay dunes. So then, do we think someone was hiding it or that it was simply unreadable until this time? Was it intentionally hidden, or just an environmental aspect? Knowing Wayland yutani I would suggest that it was hidden on purpose, whether for safety or for secrets, I cannot say. Yeah, I mean, what's the rest of their slogan? Building better worlds on the bones of others? Or some shit like that? Yeah, this one. It's that's only economical. That, that's assuming that somebody's actually been out here. Key brings up a good point, too. I'm saying mother because the UPP had rigged a system into this machine that you then took over and modified, but you don't have full mother because this is an alien ship, not your ship. So you have no you have no communication back home and you only have whatever limited data you had time to upload to the system before you stole the spaceship to escape. Phantasmagoria getting nuked. But yeah, that's the data you've got. So, once more onto the breach. It would seem that we have no choice. I mean, we could stay in the ship. I'm, I'm a fan of staying in the ship, just saying. Even though it's repaired, I would rather be on solid ground, to be honest. Yeah, fuck that Ezekiel guy. I'm not sure if he can find his head, but, you know, tell the difference between his head and a hole in the ground. Uh, Dr. Lim, how are you feeling? Relatively well, considering I was riding a dinosaur not long ago, and one of my last clear memories was watching the rest of my team die. I can understand how that would be stressful. My apologies. And, uh, just pointing it out, Adam would know that she also remembers pretty clearly getting face hugged by that egg, but she does not mention it. <laughs> oh yeah, he knows. He knows quite a bit. Yeah. For no so reason I, in particular. I don't understand the whole workings of it, but I know this ship was kind of on autopilot for a while. If we want to land, is anybody gonna be able to buy it? We are down one pilot. Also, that's assuming we want to land. Let's be fair here. Why don't we just stay in the ship? I don't know if we have a choice in the matter. Adam, is the autopilot still engaged? Give me a Comtech. Plus, wits roll, anybody? Doesn't matter who. I only need one success. No successes from me. You said Comtech plus wits? Yep. Uh, that wow. again is 11 dice for Dr. Lamb, please. Hey. I mean, uh, one. Two for Dr. Lamb. Okay, so. 11 dice. The gods are cruel. 
They are. They really are. Um. Yeah, you're able to discern that you can't stop the ship from landing. This was its destination. You launched it. Its own control systems took over. You can't stop this. However, you do have a dropship, a VTOL, a variety of, uh, of buggies, 4x4s, and a bunch of equipment from the survivors who managed to launch pods and vehicles off your ship when mutinying. Well, since it seems we can't prevent ourselves from landing, I suggest that we explore and learn about our new surroundings. It's the best way to survive. Now that was fucking creepy. I agree. After all, uh, what would we be doing other than sitting on the ship's ship and twiddling our thumbs? At the very least, we could find some food. I do not need food, but I would gladly help. Okay. You wait. It takes a couple hours. But the ship... Um, circles. Does a flyover of some land and aims directly for a box, uh, uh, circular canyon. With It's clearly been carved out at some point in the past. Canyon walls are climbable, but they're high. And the center area as a cleared out platform for the ship to land on in the ruins of an old ancient city it looks a lot like an ancient ruin on earth might have only much more sophisticated in how it was put together and then a whole bunch of flatland and scrubland everywhere the ship lands itself and all of its doors and ports open and then it powers off Oh, once more onto an alien planet. Do I have it's my humid gun and hot with me? Like Florida? <laughs> you all have norm your normal equipment, yes. Okay. And this Very is Dr. Lamb actually. for Ruth because the doctor would want to be studying the alien planet. God damn, this fucking temperature and this humidity is horrible. Do we want to live here? No, this is not Ezekiel. This is your marine. Ezekiel, yeah, Ezekiel's it, on the ship doing repairs. The the marine the marine doesn't want to live in Florida either. Are they both Irish? Yeah, that's why no, I said that was you just had a the slip accent. Of the tongue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Spank my Betty. That'd be weird. How how would a synth get get stress? That wouldn't make any sense. Moving on. Weird. Yeah. So Harrison would actually look at Adam when the ship turns off. Like, can you turn it back on? Or are we stuck here? You cannot, Adam, because it had enough fuel to return home. It's out of fuel now. The, the source of power it uses for fuel. And you haven't figured out how to repower it because it's not a solid state fuel. It seems that the vehicle is out of fuel. We would have to find more and refill it. What does it use? I'm unsure. I would have to do some more research on it. Or we need a way to create a transmission to communicate with the rest of the organization. So except, someone can come get us. Except, and you wouldn't know this, Doc, but the Marines, you all would. You are way too far. There is no relay satellite. You're just going to be sending signals into deep space, like the Voyager, like the Voyager uh, ship. There's no phoning home. Mm Captain Lockwood, on instinct, just barks out, Sergeant Harrison, I need you to organize a couple scouting parties. Search okay. the immediate area. Just kind of forgetting that he has amnesia and might not be fully registering what these commands are. <laughs> I trust you will handle this with the, mo the utmost efficacy. 
So let's see if he remembers. It's not. So he obeys. Because I do have a I do have hot head, which allows me to take like your to, orders and throw them on the ground. <laughs> just like to point out here, Harry. You don't have to. <laughs> and I don't mean because of Betty. Dwayne knows why you don't have to. So, well, how do you oh, carry yeah, out right. the, how do you carry out those orders, Harrison? Uh, so he will gather a uh, look, the captain did want multiple teams, so we're gonna split the party uh, equally. I will take uh, myself uh, and any two remaining alive people that aren't doing anything <laughs> on the ship with me in one direction hopefully uh figure that out in a second and then uh who else is remaining so who's what... alive <laughs> here's what happens i i am alive because paying my betty redeemed some of the other guys it's not going to be what you think it is because that's not necessary but you did redeem it, so something has to happen. The platform beneath the alien ship cracks and splinters from age, and the ship collapses into the ground, and the ground collapses around it, and the ruins bury it in rubble. Burying about half of your crew with it, and about half of your equipment. You got a half of it unloaded before that happened, though. I hope it was the better half. Uh, you got three 4x4s, the VTOL, the dropship, quarter of your ammo, half your weapons, and survival gear, and a pop-up med bay. So does that mean that Ruth essentially... So Ruth probably carries a quarter of their ammo? Is she on the oh, ship no, or I off mean, it? Yeah, Ru Ruth's all your PCs that are alive survived. Okay, cool. God. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's key or Lockwood. It's a bow. Uh, Benjamin. Oh, hey. Captain Lockwood, after telling Harrison, hey, get some search party sword, just kind of sits down on a rock, puts his face in his hands, and just silently screams into his palms. Yeah. However, <laughs> however... The collapse also reveals that there was a complex underneath here, like they had a sub-level to the city. You can th you can thank Zaftik for this. And it did reveal part of one room, but only a small part because most of the room was crushed. Looks like it was some kind of storage room. It's got some weird stuff in it. Looks useful. Like what? It's a weird glove with, like, claws on the end and a big boxy readout with, like, dashes. I don't know what that means. Mm. Oh, the, there, the good also, doctor. There's also, like, they a, happen to be red. They would. It's also, like, a mm. cuirass with this thing on the shoulder. It's like a targeting device like of some parrot, kind. parrot that fires concentrated plasma beams? Maybe. Mm. And uh, weird-looking rifles. You've never seen anything like that before. Now and I'll a really bizarre what. suit of armor. Uh, Harrison really likes toothpicks. He always has one. Does there happen to be an, an, an extending toothpick that he might be able to find? Uh, no, no, but oh. that really weird suit of armor has stuff on it. You could, you could the, put it on here so nobody else is, no, no one else is sprinting towards it. I would. I this is shiny. You put it on. It's weird mesh-like substance, and it's got a helmet. You look kind of badass in the helmet. It'd probably fit better if you had dreadlocks, though. Hmm. 
He does a uh, as soon as you put it on timely pose. As soon as you put it on, you hear this really weird noise and everything snaps to infrared. That's weird. So you're like, "Ow, that hurts my eyes!" Stop. It responds to your mental impulse and snaps to normal sight. And you do look down at the leg piece, and yeah, there's like you thought they were like reinforcing braces to you know hold the pants in a rigid shape. They're not. It's some kind of weird, really small spear. Two of them. Hey guys, look what I got. <laughs> he walks out and he says, Hey guys, look what I got. Looks like a goddamn alien and the voice that comes out is in English, but it sounds like uh, something from Star Wars, like Boba Fett. Shoot it! No, Harrison? do not shoot it. Do not shoot it. What, what do you mean? That's... The fuck is that? It's me. It's Harrison. Me. The guy that just ran over and put it on. Can't. I was, I was taking a piss. How the... Why would you put this so, on? It does look like a person because it's just shoulder... Uh, bra shoulder... Uh, wow, what are those called? Shoulder armor. Pauldrons? Pauldrons. And a cuirass. And bracers. And greaves. And a groin cover. That's it. But the helmet does not look human at all. I mean, you all know what it looks like. I don't need to tell you. Looks like a... Like a super cracked out Wolverine face. Kinda. It looks what? like something that what? would eat other creatures. Okay, okay. okay. With a really weirdly, Harrison? really lar weirdly, weirdly large amount of tubes hanging off all the way around the perimeter of it. Her Harrison, Harrison, I know your your mind isn't what it used to be. I know you've lost a lot of memories. What in the seven hells? What possible reason could you have for just putting on a suit of armor you found on some strange planet? Dwayne, would you like to try to make a roll to see if you can figure out how this thing works? Yeah. Yes. You don't have to because Rachel will pay to award you a crit success. Oh, you now have full control over the armor suit. You can use the spears, you can fire the shoulder mount, you can use all of the vision forms, and <laughs> you can activate the camo. Oh. While, you, while you're talking to him, Baker. He just disappears in a weird flash of grid lights and is gone. No, oh, that would be a great. And then he starts idea. laughing and saying, "This is badass." From exactly where he was standing. I'm just gonna go and take a lap. Is it? <laughs> is, it is it that weird check the playback? Perimeter, this, I guess. This is, this is badass. This is badass. This is badass. This is badass. Yes, this is badass. it does do that because you don't this know how that works yet. Yes. He gets rewarded for putting his finger in a blender. There is also hilarious. There is also a second predator candy. rifle for Ruth. I'll note that for when I play her next. Shoulder-mounted yeah. weapon for JT's heavy weapons character. Hey. Or no, Baker's heavy weapons character. Sorry, Baker's the guy who's got the big gun. Yes, Baker has big gun. It and might be his entire personality. Two of the discs for whoever wants them. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to make a good use of those discs. All right. What's I mean, your it is really fucking cool, Harrison. I'll, I'll give What's you What's your that. commands for exploring the uh, area, Captain? Ah, goodness. All right. Since this is an, I'm, I'm guessing, well, Harrison is guessing that this is an indigenous suit. Uh, and with kimchi's knowledge of this species, uh, am I able to, without killing us all, type anything up and bring up a schematic on my wrist gauntlet? Yeah, but it only shows the valley because those have limited range. Oh, oh. Um, can the doctor walk up and take a look at what uh, Harrison is doing and utilize analysis? 
which is on page 77 of the court book. You can, but nothing in the valley is harmful or helpful. I was hoping to learn more about the suit. Oh, yeah. Roll it the way it says to do it. Well, have Dwayne roll it the way it says to do it. Yeah. Am I rolling 12 dice? Um, it's observation and wits, so 8 plus 5, which is totally normal. 13 dice. Uh, that is four successes. For every success you roll, you get to ask the GM one of the questions below. Let's have them. Uh, what is its purpose? Hunt and kill. Military weapon. No. Hunt and kill. Sport hunting. Recreational. Hobbyist how, armor. <laughs> how does it work? Interfaces with the, uh, it's a mental link. It's, it telepathically interfaces with its user. It's not designed for a human mind, though, so I'm sure things won't go horribly wrong in another session. Especially how a human old is it? Memory. This particular set, 500 years. What problems could it cause? Uh, it's got a self-destruct feature that could accidentally be triggered and kill everything in the valley, reducing it to ash. Uh, <laughs> the good doctor will reel all of that off very obnoxiously, starting off with the do not press this button. <laughs> Actually, <clears throat> do you have any more questions? I was all four. The other... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the other two are pretty self-explanatory as far as the other answers go. Is is it dead or alive, or is it human or alien? Um, I'm guessing that you were like looking at it while while asking these questions. Um, based on what Doctor Lamb rolled and has gained knowledge of already, can she decipher the language? Nope, that'll take a lot of time. Okay. Because that might help. I don't know. It might. Yeah, I mean, I'm, script I'm, is easier to decipher than spoken language, but it still takes time. I'm still no cunning linguist. <laughs> Correct. All right. And there goes ever. Approved. So. <laughs> Captain, they're still waiting for you to give the order to search the area. Delegating this to Sergeant Harrison, who I believe has masterfully and skillfully organized these parties. Nothing could possibly go wrong from this plan. Wait, where did Harrison go? Where has he disappeared to? And then he reappears oh because the doctor's pushing buttons on something you can't see. Right. Harrison's predisposed. All right. It's Captain Look, uh, Captain Lockwood. Begrudgingly takes the reins and just gets everyone like four sections. Sends one party there, one party there, one party there. The PCs to the fourth section, where everything's inevitably going to go terribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Okay. Harrison. Mm hmm. Which team are you sending to climb the cliff, the, any, whichever direction you want of the valley to see what's outside of the valley? Uh. <clears throat> uh. I will send uh, Baker. I can't order Higgins. Higgins outranks me. So the captain gave you permission to lead. 
Uh, but see, he's my buddy, and or no, that's Murph. Murphy's my buddy. Oh, Murphy's Murphy's your buddy. Still finds it weird, so he won't give orders to someone who outranks him. But he'll send Baker, Baker, Ruth, and Adam. Yeah. Do that. You also feel like sending the doctor would be wise. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that way? To scout well, whatever's we'll... over the horizon, yeah. But then we will swap out Roost for Dr. Lamb. All right. Cliff climbers. Athletics plus agility roll. Strength. Athletics plus strength rolls. Mobility plus strength rolls. Two so successes. That, whoop, ah, how did I do that? I hid myself somehow. How do I unhide myself? There we go. I fixed it. It was one of the climbers, yes? Yes. Adam, Baker, and Dr. Lamb. And that is four dice for Dr. Lamb. Dwayne. Four dice for Dr. Lamb. There's one success for Dr. Lamb. Nice. By the way, Don said something brilliant as Don is wont to do. He has said aliens versus PB and J. A V P B J. So nobody failed on the uh, on the mobility check, correct? One success. You all crest the top of the hill, and as you look over the landscape, every single one of you just stares in horror. As uh, doctor, you've heard rumors and whispers about this, but you never believed it was real. And as you gaze over an endless landscape of blasted wasteland covered in chitinous red hives and you see thousands of aliens milling across the landscape some of them with wings you realize this is hive world xenomorph prime and that's where we pause heaven. until next week we've ascended the entire world we've is overrun. ascended <laughs> the entire world is overrun by Xenomorph XX121 variants. I have a question. Not as Adam, but is it? <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, so, real, ow. <laughs> realistically speaking, what would happen to a planet when there's nothing but the Xenomorphs? Like, will they just die off because they starve, or what? They don't starve. They leave oh, they enough don't. of the local species alive to continue to reproduce and, and consume. But, but they also eat each other eventually? Yeah. However, once a xenomorph hits the uh, adult life stage, it doesn't have to eat anymore. It only has to consume to grow. After its first molt, doesn't breathe, doesn't eat, doesn't sleep. Perfect killers. But there's still enough indigenous species left alive to continue to procreate. Uh, and there's always the random species that comes in. Yeah, and the last they, thing uh, you see emerge from a hive far off in the distance nope. is another one of those queens. Only this one is a crimson red blood color. And it's four times the size of the one that was on your ship. Its roars echo across the landscape as the credits roll. <laughs> That's not far from the truth, hot dog wizard. Can 
can we leave now? All right, Marines, that's enough bug hunting. <laughs> we better get back to the barracks. What bug? Because it'll be dark soon. And they mostly come at night. It's always night here. But don't worry, yeah. we'll be back in the shit next week for the season finale. But not the series, just the season. We thank you for embarking on this mission with us and hope to see you again next week. Don't forget to click follow on Twitch and click subscribe. And hit the bell on YouTube. You're helping us get deliveries to the periphery on time. Special thanks tonight to our patrons, our Twitch subscribers. You help make all our quality better, our cosplay sharper, and feed the endless cats and dogs. Thanks also to Free League, Astral Tabletop, and Foundry, as well as Dark Somnium Music, Coag Music, and White Bad Audio for awesome tunes and such you heard in this show. And thank you, Super Deluxe Extra Quadruple, so much for all the donators, because you're all awesome and we love you. And now, it's commercial time. We don't just have charities this month. We also have new friends to talk to you all about. Yay! The new friend we're going to talk about in the next couple weeks. I just had what I needed and lost it because, wow, that side message wrecked me. So yeah, hold on one second. <laughs> Don't ask. I'm asking. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Oh, I know We'd what like it is. To tell you Dad wants to pay you extra money to never have Bug come back ever again. <laughs> That's definitely not the case. However, <laughs> we would like to talk to you about Tabletop Titties. Tabletop Titties is a queer and feminist TTRPG podcast and streaming group run entirely by people of marginalized genders. Their second season of their D&D show, Into the Revelia, follows our heroes from season one as they take on Hit Points Press' hilarious horror carnival, Hecna, which, by the way, is awesome. I've checked it out because they're one of our sponsors, too. Every Tuesday, live at twitch.tv slash tabletop titties at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And in podcast form every Friday. They have a second show, too, Titties by Night, which is a V5 Vampire the Masquerade show, starring a coterie of supernatural investigators as they solve mysteries in Victorian London. Catch all the vampiric action Wednesdays at 8.30 Pacific on Twitch and in podcasts every Saturday. For all the information about these awesome gamers that you should definitely check out, visit TabletopTitties.com. And remember, every time we say titties, it's with double Ds. Ds. Marines, fall in, sound off. Name, rank, and duty assignments with the Vorpal Corps, as well as Merc contracts elsewhere on the network. Uh, yeah, I'm an adult, as most people can understand. and um, Yeah, so I'm John Bedore, otherwise known as J3 Billion. Uh, I have done things today and been the people that are Ezekiel and Benjamin Baker. And... Um, I think the next time you're going to see me is on Sunday, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, be there about 4 o'clock. You forgot or, Werewolf. I thought Sunday was Werewolf. Saturday is no, Werewolf. I'm losing, Saturday. I'm, losing my, I'm losing my mind. It's okay. It's fine. So tomorrow at... Tomorrow four, is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> John has small children. It's okay. You'll see John Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Fuck me. That one. Yeah. See you guys there. Have a good time. I am so sorry, everyone on the stream. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're not sorry. But anyway, don't forget uh, to, as a werewolf, enjoy your carnage asada, as many have requested. Hey, everybody. I have enjoyed playing... All, almost playing Adam, but playing Bug instead, and then playing Adam. You can find me all over the internet as Changeling Ever, because I am Ever, and I am two xenomorphs that are very, very small and vegetarian next to a carnivorous bear in a trench coat. 
Anyway, you can find me on Etsy at Neat and Co Designs, where I've added 13 new stickers for you to enjoy. They are vinyl, they are waterproof. Trust me, I know this because I poured water on them to test them out to make sure that the ink doesn't bleed. So you get my original art made with traditional materials, watercolor, ink, etc., printed on vinyl. Nice. Some of them are referencing Vorpal Tales, and there are more to come. Tyler has seen the designs. He can tell you whether or not he likes them. Yeah, I have. You Buy can... them all. <laughs> You can find me playing again tomorrow night as Tav Bug. I'm not really sure. There are more options besides Bug, though. Keep in mind, you could also summon Gabriel. You could summon Apple. You could summon uh, any of my other characters I've ever played. So, yeah. Enjoy. And before the next person goes, as an aside, those stickers include all your favorites as Corporal Tales fans, so you should know. Whale's Whiskey, Large March's Donut Barn, they're all coming. I need Blood to buy yak. But until I buy them, I'll still be Dwayne. I made of kimchi on the network. I'm sorry I'm stuffing my mouth full of Twizzlers because the aftertaste of this soda is awful. <laughs> You're a soldier, though. You did three. Well, only four to go. <clears throat> because this is the end. I have to finish it before the end of the stream. Oh god. Oh god. Someone talk, please, so we can stop right, watching no, the carnage. No. No. Oh. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Contagion Chronicle, and then <laughs> after that, Ravenloft. No, you won't. I'm calling you an ambulance. <laughs> Have a nice night. And hello, I am Rosie, or a regular sized mom. You can find me on Twitter at mom underscore sized. And the next place you can see me is on Gehenna Gaming, playing uh, Alter Keats, no longer Captain of the Promethean. He is going to be dealing with a lot of things next episode. Uh, so watch me tomorrow over on Gehenna Gaming. And then after that, I get to chill until next Thursday, where you can see me again here playing Alien. And then you can watch me again on Gehenna Gaming. And then you can watch me on Carrying Comfort Studios playing Zestra, a Blood Witch. So check out those channels. They're all awesome. And um, Dwayne, I, I really hope you get the taste out of your mouth somehow. Brian. The operative phrase is the help you need. I've been Captain Lockwood. I'm also Kisama. You can find me on Twitter at TrueKisama, and you can see me tomorrow in the Contagion Chronicle. It's going to be fun. Go watch it. Hey, folks. I'm JT. You can find me online at Zensomancer. I have been Lieutenant Commander John Higgins. You can find me next Saturday at 4 p.m. EDT playing Lur, the Goblin Witch, and Simbararum on the Free League channel. Excellent. I'd also like to say thanks to Mom over here for showing up sick for charity. You're awesome. Everybody loves you for that. And I'd like to point out uh, next week might be the season finale for Alien. But not only does Star Trek come after that, but for our first session of Star Trek, once we're past talking about characters, we'll have a special Chart of Chaos reward if you purchase a role on the major Chart of Chaos. The first role will automatically be tribbles so keep that in mind too Wait, and now you didn't say you'd make that the first i need role. to go yeah i need to go watch that <laughs> yeah you do you do and now for our ride or die viewers it's vote time viewers can vote for any one player each session votes from the audience are worth a free reroll on the stress or critical injury effect chart uh take whichever result you like more Player votes are worth 1 XP, maximum once per session. Any other player votes, if you get more than one, can be used to reroll death saves or redraw your initiative cards. Before you start, uh, to answer Hot Dog Wizard's question, yes, Patty Shakes will be playing a Klingon. Begin with the votes. Uh, yes, I believe that's me up first. I'm giving mine to Rosie um, for the incessant flicking off and very 
lots of noises she made as as <laughs> and the whole time we're all trying to play gestures and the ship is literally melting down. <laughs> so that was fun. I enjoyed it. This is this is so hard for me right now. Like this is one of the hardest. Pick your ever... pick between your friends. <sighs> Whoever gets your vote <laughs> is the one you love the most. Oh, oh no, I know how I'm going to do this. Okay, so evens are Dwayne and odds are Rosie because Rosie is odd like me. Uh, uh, wait, which color guy? I'm going to use this one. Okay. Odds, Rosie. Because you're odd like me. But also, so the reason between picking between those two is because Dwayne, watching you made my heart hurt. Like, I don't know if it was sympathetic heartburn or like emotional pain, maybe both, but also Rosie for showing up sick and recovering my heart. I just, I can't. So yeah, Rosie got it. Oh, it's my turn. Um, sorry, I'm having, I'm, I'm burping up a lot right now. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Uh, Wow, uh, a lot of stuff happened today. I am going to go with Higgins for your immense fear of bug. <laughs> sort of valid. Well, lots of votes for Dwayne in the audience, by the way, Dwayne. I, your I suffering is worth it. <laughs> it's not suffering, it's for charity. And anything for charity is good. Therefore, me drinking horrible stuff is good. Yes, you are suffering for charity, and we appreciate your martyrdom. Oh, I see some nepotism in the chat, but it's allowed. Who's next? <laughs> uh, I believe that is me, and I want to give my vote to uh, Key for uh, Carne Asada. <laughs> the Carnage Asada, yes. Carnage Asada, yes. Deliciously deadly. Yeah. We lost many good men and women yeah. in that carnage. Yeah, and, and now I really need to order from the local Mexican place tomorrow night, so thank you. <laughs> uh, my vote tonight goes to Ever for Bug. Just all of Bug. Bug was amazing. Absolutely adorable. My vote goes to Captain Lockwood because... He seems to really need it because he's struggling to have any kind of command presence whatsoever as an ongoing theme for his character. So so give him a little boost on something. After the mutiny, it only got much worse. <laughs> all right, audience, we must leave you for the week now. Don't worry, Ever is tallying all of your votes. None will be missed. But don't get too loud about us leaving because it won't do you any good because in space... No one can hear you scream. But there's a lot of screaming on Mork Borg, and we're going to go raid some of that right now. So hang out with us if you want to. Until tomorrow, and until next week, we wish you good night. Bye.